guys welcome back to my channel my name is janet thank you for watching today's video is going to be another declutter i've just been doing these like crazy <laughs> but i really wanted to get into my bronzer collection because i've just added some new bronzers and it's just time to give it a little tidy up a little clean up so that's what i will be doing today and yeah let me go ahead and get this sort sorted and go ahead and do it that I've been wanting to try or another brand that I've been wanting to try and I hadn't had a chance to until actually well today I purchased it but I don't know when this video will be going up but there will be a video on Koki Cosmetics I think this um, bronzer is so freaking cute with the little elephant and I haven't tried it out yet so of course it's new so I'm not of course I'm going to keep it and this is in the shade oh so many swatches there <laughs> stay golden this is that, that's the shade that's in and so, um, a lot of people say that this has a red undertone not this particular shade I feel like this has more of a neutral to maybe a yellow undertone definitely not red maybe I'll see once it goes on the skin but if you can see that that definitely is not like a yellow undertone right there I just it's time to say goodbye to it's this one from wet and wild just because you know, um, bronzers take a really long time to pan to finish up. And I just don't want this to go bad before I get a chance to even finish this. And because it is not cruelty free, it just doesn't... I mean, I know I can use this off camera or whatever, but it's just a lot more difficult to use it. And it's such a perfect shade too. I My hand's kind of really dark right now because I did a lot of swatching earlier for a video. And it's just a perfect color. And I really... I've actually never used this side, but it feels so nice. I just don't want to. No wonder it's called Ulta de Leche. <laughs> I just don't want it to go to waste. So I'm definitely going to just go ahead and declutter this. It's practically new and it makes me sad, but I need to go to a home where it's going to be given the love it really deserves. It's such a good item, but you know, it is what it is. Alright, next one's then one one that I know I'm going to definitely keep is this milk make one milk makeup one. I don't mind the tape. What happened was I broke it, so I had to tape it up. I don't have I didn't have super glue at the moment and I just needed it to be fixed so I could put it on the on the item and yeah on the bronzer. So this is what this looks like. And this is like probably one of the most perfect shades of bronzer that I actually own. It is so pretty, so buildable, and look at that. And it does dry down matte, so I'm definitely going to be keeping that one, of course. But honestly, if you want to purchase this, I recommend getting the mini. Unless you know that you only have one or two bronzers, or this is the only cream bronzer that you have, I would only recommend getting this one. I mean, this one was my only cream bronzer for a while. And I don't think I've even finished the top. It just takes forever and you only need the smallest amount for it to like be this beautiful and intense. So yeah, just saying. And let me do all my cream bronzers. Uh, this is from e.l.f. And I purchased this because I've been wanting, I wanted to do the reverse foundation thing, reverse foundation technique and then the Scott Barnes technique too, which is similar but more in depth, I think. And the reason I didn't use the milk one, I didn't feel like it was intense enough and I just, I don't know, I felt more confident using a palette just in case I needed different colors or who knows. And I really do like this palette, it's a really good palette. So if you want a cream bronzer but you don't want to spend, you know, high-end money, I would recommend this palette because you do have options and then you have like a highlighter shade or a brightening shade which I haven't even used and you have a deeper shade. So this is really good, really, really good. And even like the, let me swatch the colors that I actually use. It is a little bit more emollient and I guess you could even say oily than the milk makeup one. But like once it goes on the skin, it doesn't have that matte look at, that the milk one has. But still pretty good. Like you can see that these are pretty similar right here. <sighs> My nose is clogged up so I'm having a difficult time breathing. And I know you can like pop these out and like switch them around, even make it with the blush, 
the, they have a cream blush palette and you can even do that with this switch it all around to see what you need especially if you're um, like a makeup artist I could see you as uh, someone who's a makeup artist using this possibly keeping that also another reason I really like uh, keeping different shades of bronzers is because at least one darker shade than I am because of my mom I do my mom's makeup sometimes and she is a couple of shades darker than I am so that's why I want to keep a couple around all right I'm gonna go in with this mini and this is from Becca cosmetics it's in the shade Capri Coast I honestly can't remember where I got this mini from I don't remember <laughs> I I don't I might have been like in a little kit but I honestly truly don't remember and it's a really really nice shade one of my favorite actual bronzers that I own it's so pretty attitude Aries attitude it just has this pretty perfect like well okay it has this really nice undertone of also yellow but with like a touch of red so it makes it for a really nice sun-kissed look and the fact that it's not matte and it gives you like this really nice subtle sheen to it will make you, your like skin even more sun kissed and more natural. So beautiful. I also have this cream bronzer from Fenty. I got it. I didn't get it when it was like all the hype or anything like that. I actually got it when they were had a, like a 25% off sale off the Fenty website. So I decided to pick it up then because everyone saying was this was everything and was it? Everything in like a piece, what is that saying? Like a piece of cake? Oh, what is that saying? Now I wanna, oh, I can't remember the saying, but it's like everything and then something. If you know the saying, let me know, because I can't remember now. I can't, Google couldn't find it for me. But anyways, um, this is basically what I was talking about. Like everybody said that this was like such a perfect cream bronzer and I actually really, really do enjoy cream bronzers. And I have it in the shade Macchiato. And let me swatch it for you really quick as you can see it's like that goldeny yellow undertone which is really what I prefer a golden yellow undertone for my bronzer for my skin type um, skin color I like that yellow with a touch it can have a touch of red but I prefer that yellow undertone so keeping that one um let's see I'm going to declutter that one um uh, Am I only declutter maybe two, maybe three? I, I love all my bronzers, honestly. Okay, let's talk about this one. So I know Physicians Formula is no longer quality free, and that makes that made my heart so so sad and heavy the day I found out, because this was legitimately the only bronzer I had for the longest time. This is it. This is all I had. This is all I used, and it just made my heart heavy to find out that they were no longer cruelty free and they chose to sell in China rather than keep with their LX. Anyways, um, this is in the shade of regular, like the bronzer, I guess. And again, this was like the perfect bronzer. I mean, if there ever was one of the most perfect bronzers to exist ever. Beautiful sheen, that slight yellow undertone that I really appreciate. And I'm going to keep it. I mean, I already have it. Oh, that perfect smell, you guys. Smells so good. Of course, once I pan it, I will no longer be repurchasing this anymore, which is why I'm glad that I have all of these. But hopefully, by the time I pan this, China will no longer have to <laughs> do any more animal testing, and I will be able to repurchase this. Because this took me a year to even hit pan on it, and then it broke, and I had to repurchase it. So maybe in a year or two, I will be able to repurchase this. That is a hope. Just because I want everything to be cruelty free in general. You know what I mean? Not just because of the bronzer. But yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful formula. Beautiful. Just beautiful application. Yeah. I mean, none of these bronzers I have so far are like bad. All these bronzers are pretty, pretty good. I do have a couple things to say about a couple of them. But the most of them, for the majority part, major, for the most part, are amazing. Let's go with this other Fenty bronzer right here. And I hate it looks this looks really fancy, this mirrored part, but then it gets all scratched up and then gets so dirty and just ugh, not my favorite. Um, this is in the shade, what is the shade of this? Private Island. I think considering how light I've gotten, because I haven't really been out in the sun, 
I could definitely go up, down a shade, but I'm just going to keep this one because I don't feel like purchasing another Fenty bronzer. This one's not my favorite, but I still enjoy it. It definitely has more of that reddish undertone. Um, but I really do enjoy the actual formula. The color's not the best for me, I would say, but I do enjoy the formula. The formula's really, really nice. I hope you guys can see that. I have two e.l.f. ones. I have Perpetually Tan and this one is, this is Perpetually Tan and this one's Forever Sun Kissed. Both of them because again, right now I'm a lot lighter than I usually am. I don't have, a, I haven't gotten a lot of sun. So this one's the perfect, perfect color right now. And you see that color. Let me swatch the other one so you can see them side by side on my finger. And this one definitely has more of that red tone on it and the other one has a little bit more of that yellow undertone oh you won't be able to see it on my hand <laughs> maybe here okay you can see it here that one right there let me swatch this one always gave me a little bit more trouble swatching just because it is lighter but that's why I liked using it because you can build this up and it's not something, it's not a difficult formula to build up. See that? Right there. It's beautiful. Two shades right there. And this one's also more cool tone and this one's more warm tone. But I like to personally use them both. But right now this one's actually the perfect shade. For a long time I thought this was too light. But I'm glad I have both, like I said, in case I need one to use one for my mom. Or I can just combine them both. I'm going to keep both of them because I love that formula. And they say that this Take Home the Bronze. Yeah, Take Home the Bronze bronzer from um, The Bomb. It's a dupe for it. Or these two, this one's a dupe for this one. So let's just, let's just check it out and swipe next to it. I got this one in the shade Thomas, or, or no, it's Thomas, yeah, which is the second shade. <clears throat> Keep in mind that this is a built-up shade. Yeah, it's definitely more of that neutral. It's definitely, I think the, this looks more of a mixture between both of them if you actually look at it. It's still nice. I like it. I love the undertone. I love the formula. It's actually in my shop, my stash right now. And I've actually gotten some use out of it. You can see around the edges. And you can just tell when it's being used. I really enjoy this shade. I could probably use the second, the lightest shade. I might pick it up just to see. Because um, when they have their 50% off, you should take advantage. I might pick up the lighter shade just to see how it is. Because this one's a little deep. It still works for me, but just i like to have options as if i don't right this one next one is from ofra and sam shout out to sam squad um shout out to the sam squad because this is the samantha march river bronzer and yes this is actually one of my favorite bronzers because it has like the most perfect undertone like that beautiful yellow undertone that i absolutely absolutely love right here let me swatch it now this one actually has two sides it has a shimmery side and it has a matte side but even the matte is not hold on let me swatch it right but even the matte side doesn't have too much of a matte right there it's not too too matte either yeah like i was saying definitely that the shimmery side and then that's the matte side still not too matte but like I said perfect undertone that's the kind of undertone that I really really enjoy keeping that one of course and of course I'm going to keep this one from Alamar Cosmetics because I just talked about this one in my if I wasn't a YouTuber or wasn't on YouTube video and then this is such a perfect color too because you have a, the bronzer and you have a deepener and this will be the last one that I swatch and then the deepener even though it is a little bit I think it's more neutral honestly than um, warm tone or anything but uh, it's so perfect look at that 
And then it also has a brightener in case you need it for those fancy glam days or if you have very dark circles that can always help too. And the powders are infused with hyaluronic acid and it's such an amazing, amazing, amazing formula. And like I said in the um in that other video, which I will link, um they have trios. So they have a light, a fair light, medium, tan, and then a deep dark or dark dark deep dark which you know caters to every skin tone and because they have two shades it has even more complexity and um shades to choose from to mix and to create your own colors i think it's just so so such a good brand and such a good bronzer formula and the great that they have such a variety of colors so this is what we have left right here i can do the glowy bronzers together and then so i can see them and then the matte bronzers together so the matte bronzer, I mean the glowy bronzer right here is from Believe Beauty. And this one, eh, it's not really my favorite. It has like a red undertone and I can't even get it open. So I'm thinking I'm going to declutter this to be honest. Like it is pretty, but I don't know. It looks really pretty now that I'm swatching it. Oh, I might not declutter this. I'm not 100% sure on the status of Believe Beauty to be honest. I I mean, they claim to be cruelty-free, and I do like to give brands the benefit of the doubt um, until I know otherwise, because they only sell in Dollar General, so even if, let's say, they were made in China, but because they only sell in the United States, it gives them a less possibility that they are. I mean, they are truly cruelty-free, but I'm going to have to find out more information. I'm going to leave this, I don't know, now looking at it and swatching it, it's like such a pretty color. <laughs> I really thought I was going to declutter this, guys, but looking at it... I think I'm gonna keep it. Change my mind, man. Last minute. Woo! All right, let's go for the Milani one now. This is in the shade Glow. Now this one, a lot of people like. Well, the shade Dolce, a lot of people like. But to me, this is just a little bit too. Like, don't get me wrong. I love a glowy brush. I mean, bronzer. But this one's a little bit too glowy and a little bit too orange. But I mean, once you really use a brush all that glow really i mean the that extra glitter goes away so i'm not really sure oh, i'm not sure about this one uh, i don't know it's really really pretty because it has that yellow undertone even though it looks a little orange in the pan i don't know i'm kind of liking it right now and then i'm swatching it i'm going to put this on the chopping block along with the believe beauty and we'll see because those are really extremely glowy bronzers but they're very pretty right now for the summer so yeah let's just keep going see what we think another kind of semi glowy bronzer this is new to my collection definitely not gonna get rid of is from buxom and has it's a really nice heavyweight bronzer of course it's heavyweight because you have all this extra space right here because the compact it's pretty small compact well not small but i mean you can see the difference <laughs> but i still like that it's weighty i like this translucent thing so you can really see what color you're getting um, I really enjoy that, so let's see. Alright. So this one again, this one ha actually has two shades. I really enjoy that because you get, again, you can mix up your own colors and you decide what you really, what, what you're feeling that day. I'm glad I picked this one though because the other one was really rosy tone. And that's I think for somebody who has maybe cool tone or maybe neutral. This one's definitely for someone that has more of a warm olive undertone I do have to say about these bronzers overall they don't really have any type of selection the only ones that i would say have more of a selection are the jouet one jouet has jouet has three one three different bronzers but i'll explain why in a second and venti oh and becca becca has some too let me take that back Becca. Fenty and Becca. And oh, and Koki actually has four, so it's a little there for drugstore. It's a little more than what usually drugstore has. And those are the two shades right here, if I didn't tell you. But yeah, everybody, they, brands need to step it up with bronzers, man. Like, seriously, step it up. Fenty is probably the only brand that actually has a variety of undertones and for both their cream and their powder and Becca. Those are the two. Everybody else has one, two shades, 
three shades, four shades, that's not enough. It's not. Definitely not enough because you only cover the first four or five tones and after that, what's left, you know? So do a joy. This is the light medium um, bronzer tone. Uh, I'm gonna try to just swatch these on my finger just because you really won't see them on my hand. This is the light and um, medium. They have medium tan and then they have deep dark. But you can see this only really caters to medium tan skin tones. Hold on, there you go. So yeah, but at least they have a little bit more variety and because they do have two shades, it does give that extra dimension and a little bit more of choice. But that's what that looks like. On the skin, you can't really see it. You can see it better on the fingers. Let me show you. There you go very light but for right now it's perfect the medium tone actually works really well and then this one I sometimes use even when I was a little like like literally a twinge darker I would use this just as a contour and it would actually work really well one of my favorite bronzers ever 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 I know it only has two shades again shame but if you are my complexion or lighter you can probably use this and you can use the other one if you're my complexion or deeper um this one has that I don't think I'm going to be able to swatch this because I'm like all swatched out right here. Here we go. Um, and it does turn that even when you use a brush. I think that's so cool and weird at the same time. So that's what that looks like right there. You can't, I know you can't really see it, but I mean, that looks cool tone. That looks warm tone. So it doesn't match exactly what you see in the pan. However, it is so beautiful and luminous but not like not not it's just so natural and beautiful this is, has to be one of my favorite favorite bronzers honestly this probably rivals the butter bronzer and how beautiful it actually is like that luminosity like i know that i would be okay because i have this um to part with my butter bronzer if i needed to but i don't want to not yet i'm not ready i'm not ready for that you guys okay the next one that I have up is ColourPop. And if you haven't tried the ColourPop um, bronzers, you guys really should try them. They're really nice. Very so soft and silky. And they do have a couple shades, which is actually great. They actually, ColourPop has a lot of shades for a bronzer. A lot of them are <laughs> stock right now, unfortunately. However, I mean, when they do come back in stock, it'd be great for you to, if you were looking into a bronzer, for you to look into them. I hope you can see that. <laughs> This one's a definitely a little bit more cool tone neutral, and I do enjoy that because you you sometimes you need that. Sometimes you you need that more than a, a warm tone one, especially during the winter. So I love this one. This one does tend to skip on me sometimes if I don't set my foundation. That's the only thing I have to say on, on it, but it blends beautifully. Like and then sometimes for some reason you know one side doesn't blend properly or you have that that happened to me one day but the other times it's blended out but i would say make sure that you set your foundation very just even lightly i think that would definitely make a difference another one of my favorites is from cover effects and this is the sun Kiss bronze and this one also has a match side and a shimmer side and this is so silky and creamy as you can see that's what that looks like right there it's so beautiful and actually it looks really deep but it really does work for my skin tone because it blends out so beautifully you never feel like it's too deep and then the shimmery side oh my goodness you think it's like oh that is a little bit too too shimmery too bright for me it honestly guys it's not I picked these up during the Ulta sale. If you happen to pick these up during the Ulta sale, you will not regret this. Like, I, I love... This is also one of my favorite bronzers because you have the two choices. And it's just so beautiful. Look at that. Ooh. And I thought this was going to be too shimmery for my taste. I was like, ooh, it's going to be a little too glowy. Oh, no. No, no, no. It gives you the most beautiful, natural, effortless, bronzy, deliciousness, summer beach sun-kissed look <laughs> um so yeah i'm definitely combining them beautiful but if you only feel like wearing matte that day i i see i've never done the shimmery by itself so i don't know how um, that would work but i'm sure it would be fine because it's honestly it's really not that shimmery but if you layer it it's even more beautiful these last two 
are also, like I said, all the bronzers that I have are really, really good. I don't have anything bad to say about any of them because they all blend out beautifully, effortlessly. They just are different shades and depends on what you're looking for. But this one is Milani. All the Milani ones are a little bit more on the cool tone side. And this one, you see, it's definitely a little bit more cool tone. Let's see if I can do it here. But I find that it still works for me. And I have the shade 02 Sunkiss. Everything I have is Sunkiss, you see? And let me show you a close up. That's what that looks like. Like I said, a little bit more cool tone, but it works beautifully. You can always layer brush, um, bronzers too if you want to do a little bit more contour with this one and a little bit more bronzy sun kiss with a different one that can always work too but I just love that one I, I, they're all very and it's actually very very silky it is true to the name very silky matte but it's not flat it also has a little bit a like touch like it's like a sign a touch of satin in the most beautiful beautiful way without looking too and not glowy not glowy whatsoever it's a little touch of satin you could say so definitely oof, love that one and then this one from thrive cosmetics i love this freaking like i think it's so pretty so you need the color of everything is like this teal color dog hair uh oh i didn't even realize i still had that let me take that off Oh my gosh, you got dogs or cats, you know the struggle of having dog hair everywhere. Jeez. This one, again, they had two, a satin and a matte. So I thought it was two different shades, but it's actually not. It's just the difference of, um, of textures and formulas. But this is what it looks like right here. It's that yellowy undertone again that I really enjoy. But even though it, this is probably my most matte bronzer, but even if it is like matte besides the the Elf one too, it still has that nice like sh almost a little satin to it. It's not completely matte, and I really enjoy it because it's one of the few matte ones that I have one on the matte side. Um, but yeah, so this pretty much wraps up my video. I know I didn't really do any declutters. I just love my bronzers. I love bronzers. I started to love them. I started with one and now here we are. <laughs> um, so we're just decluttering this one and then we're gonna keep these two on chopping, chopping block. And then of course, let me zoom you guys out. This is all I'm keeping right here, which is pretty much everything. But I love every single one of these bronzers. If you were to purchase any of these, you wouldn't go wrong with any of them. They have all beautiful different formulas. It just depends on what you're looking for. If you like a more glowy, if you like a little bit more matte, cream. This is, I love every single one of these. And I'm glad that I purchased them and I didn't go like buying every single one from Riband. Um, I did have the Kosas one um, in medium. However, it didn't, it was too like powdery and pigmented for me, my personal taste. I didn't notice a smell but i didn't like that one um and i would consider repurchasing the light one but for now i'm I already reached my limit of what i can purchase for bronzers for this year so definitely not going to purchase the closest another one that was actually really interested in was the elia one that one looks so beautiful like right up my alley it's described as a satin one oh just so beautiful so <laughs> no promises on that one but it's out of stock anyways right now so yeah if i was to get it i might wait for the vib because that looks like an ideal shade for winter because it's not so bronzy i have more bronzy here i have a good mixture of bronzy like summer bronzy and then like contour for winter and stuff so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and really just helping me take a look through my collection and seeing what i have and really fall in love with everything um more than i already love it um, if you have any questions about anything, comments, just leave it down below in the description box. And I hope you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed already, I hope you consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.